research and planning stage. In order to produce a successful product, we conducted research using online resources. We used the art of the title to watch and study several professional thriller opening title sequences. After analysing the sources, we were able to create a strong idea in our heads of what we were aiming for in our final product. The way the credits were displayed and shots were changed and matched inspired us to use similar techniques in our work, as well as the designs of the production company logos and how they appear on and off the screen. We also studied previous media students' blogs on the College VLE, which gave us a more realistic, achievable view on our future outcomes. Through watching a handful of thriller DVDs, we were able to realise the importance of backing music. The tones in the music can create a stronger and more intense build-up to the film, getting the audience fully engaged. Sounds can also be edited to match perfectly with an action to add a dramatic effect. Google was useful throughout our research and planning stage in order to learn more about the historical aspects of the thriller genre, such as Hitchcock's work, as well as the thriller genre in general. As part of our research, we each produced several PowerPoint presentations, one based upon the thriller genre and history of thriller, and three more which each study and analyse the opening title sequences of three different thriller movies. Producing these PowerPoint presentations meant we were able to build a wider knowledge on the historical aspects of thriller and what makes a successful thriller movie. Using PowerPoint meant that we were able to annotate our ideas with images, audio links and illustrations. The final resource we've used in our research and planning stage was our Quack blog. Throughout the project we've been continuously posting our recent work and ideas which we've been able to refer to in order to advance and develop our previous ideas. Using the group blog has helped our group to communicate outside of lessons and discuss any necessary adjustments that need to be made to make our work of a higher standard. The camera we used to film all of our footage was the Sony Handycam HDV 1080i. This was accompanied by the use of an adjustable tripod and a sound boom, although we didn't need to use it as there was no audio included in our opening title sequence. We used the tripod during filming most of the footage to keep a steady and professional shot, however we didn't use it to film from the stalker's point of view. For this shot, we handheld the camera which gave a shaken effect as if we were watching the victim from the stalker's point of view. Doing this also means the audience feel more involved in the film, which makes dramatic points even more shocking. Though using the tripod, we were able to create steady tracking shots in the library of the books, which will not only be used to set the scene, but also to display the credits on a solid white font that will show clearly. Post-production. During the process of editing, we used Adobe Premiere Pro. This was new software to us all and took some getting used to. However, once we attended an editing workshop, we soon knew the basics. We always had two people in the editing suite, one person to do it and the other for an opinion. This way, everyone got involved. Although there were some disagreements, we managed to find a way to make everybody happy and try and include everyone's ideas. We were lucky in our group as we had a photographer and a graphic designer, so this made it possible to have a complex titles and production company logos to make our film have a professional look. We are very happy with the way our pieces come together, despite editing and sound being the hardest process.